These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. When people ask me what is different now than before, we've never had articles about the exchange rate like we have now. Or UN filed statements and documentation that they have met all of their obligations now to reinstate their currency. Or news clips from Kuwait stating Iraq has finished all their payments. It is so much different now than it ever has been in the past. So for all those saying it's Groundhog Day and nothing is changing, just look. There is so much changing, it has changed dramatically. Mountain Goat says the news about the Iraqi dinar is still all about changing the exchange rate. They know they have to complete the project to delete the zeros, reinstate the dinar back to the global currency exchanges, and let the market drive it. I will tell you when they do, the money shall flow into Iraq. The IMF just had a briefing with the government of Iraq, told them what they still needed to do. They need to back their currency, or it may flop when they do reinstate it. I still want to emphasize that the rate is being artificially suppressed, as the value has been in the currency all along. Just the oil revenues alone can sustain at least $3 plus rate. All right, Militiaman article quote, uh, communications participates in the workshop on Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization, unquote. The need for a reset to the exchange rate will come prior to ascension. This is not the first we've heard of this. This is the final workshop. We shall see, in my opinion, likely it is, in my opinion. Frank26 says Kazimi and Mustafa, they get with the IMF and they say the face value of the IQD will be on par with the face value one-to-one unless oil says differently. Mark Z via PDK, in Iraq, they are still looking for between now and the 20th to have their government sat in the near rate, which is the nominal effective exchange rate. Redemption Center folks, as of this morning, are still being told they are working this weekend. I absolutely believe the RV has started. It has not It has not trickled down to us yet, though. All right, God Lover, God Lover question, did the 2021 pass the budget ever get opened. God Lover says, yes, it was opened. They're currently using the 112th system, basically going month to month off of the previous year's budget until the 2022 budget is passed and opened. Pimpy says, we know that 55 trillion dinars were printed. If 55 trillion were still around, there's no way you could do a rate change because even for a dollar, Iraq doesn't have $55 trillion. What you needed to do was somehow, some way, reduce the amount of currency that was in circulation. Uh, we know that happened. The rumor is 72% of the currency has been destroyed. If 72% of the $55 trillion was truly destroyed, they're sitting at somewhere around $13 trillion. That is still a lot. Like I said before, a lot of countries are holding the Iraqi dinar in its reserves. What I really want to know is how many of those dollars are in the hands of the public because it could be a number that's low enough that they could afford a rate change. All right, Walking Stick and Frank 26. The CBI governor is a figurehead, nothing more. He has no authority, he has no power. He's actually a yes man. He pushes buttons once he's told what to do. The governor pulls the trigger when he is told to in control, but not the authority of the actions of the CBI. When the governor of the CBI speaks, it's with the knowing and the permission and the authority of the board of directors of the CBI. This thing is on course like a guided missile. All right, uh, Mark Z via PDK in Iraq today. The conversations are about seating the government on Monday and a reinstatement of the rate. So everything still appears to be moving forward. I'm being told the near nominal effective exchange rate is for in-country $1 to $1.50 and is still in the works. So that is great news for us. It may be forcing the culmination of this event. And lastly, Bruce via Wiser Now, we are hearing that this is supposed to be the weekend of all weekends. We're hearing that the Golden Gates are to be flung open this weekend. We've got five different sources weighing in on this. A couple of them are in agreement that it is very possible that our notifications could come out as early as Saturday or Sunday. However, the lead bank is saying notifications to us 
They're hearing from a call. They were on today. Notifications Monday. Exchanges starting Tuesday. I'm sorry if it's a little vague, but that is what I'm getting. Let's see what happens.